course. So I want to hear some of your story. We've we've had a chance to listen to Midge, and I'm going to invite you to start mm-hmm. telling us a little bit about... Tell us about you, Akiana. Well, um... I'm a normal girl still, and yes, you I still are. do the regular things, but, you know, I love painting, and that's why I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to start painting, and I'm full of energy, so I'm ready, ready to start. So and I'm just a normal girl, but I have a really big dream just to travel around the world and sharing my gift with others. Sharing your beautiful gift, your your words and your artwork. Akiana, I know I think that's the best part that I love about you is that you are still a young girl and that you just have no I mean you're it's just a beautiful, unconditional, innocent expression that you have. And I really just applaud you for for staying in that and being in that childlike space that I think all of us are we are still in however as we grow up and our bodies change and our minds change and we understand how to do things differently we don't think we're that child anymore but you you are showing to us that you are that expression in that little body that many of us don't think can come out until we're older yes and and it's really fun actually at the same time because no, I really love, you know, sharing my gift with others, but at the same time, I, I'm just a normal kid having fun, and, you know, that's what life is all about, having fun at the same time with helping people. Yes. And now you have a new baby brother, too. Oh, know. He's, he's so cute. His, his name is Aurelius, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he was born April 3rd, and he is so cute. <laughs> That's all I can say. He's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> so we'll probably get more baby pictures, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now, Akiana, I'm going to ask you, why, tell me what you, in your words, what is, what is your purpose here? What is, what is, what are you trying to share with the world, Akiana? I, with my paintings and my poetry, I really want to inspire other people to, you know, unve- unveil their gifts and just to paint or more or write more or just anything they're so inspired. I want to, for, for my paintings, I want them to start more and um, just unveil their gifts because many people, they call me and email me every day and say, oh, through your art. I started painting again, and I started traveling around the world, and that's what I love about it, and, you know, I want to inspire people to, you know, to unveil their gifts, and, and, um, with my art and poetry, I want to raise money for the needy children and families around the world, and, and each time when I, when I see children that are suffering I just want to be there and help them as much as I can so. and this coming from a child <laughs> how old are you Akiana? I'm 12 years old you're 12 years old you're the most amazing 12 years you're old I know Akiana we're going to take a quick break mm-hmm. hang on the line and we'll be right back okay <laughs> As a professional trainer, I've found that there are five basic learning styles. The computer-based training from Macau works on all five. With Macau training, you don't just watch a movie or read a manual. You access videos, examples, and exercises as you need them. You can use Macau courses to improve your management skills or to become an expert at your computer software. To find out how to achieve more with Macau training, call us at 877-752-752. 5329. That's 877-752-5329 or visit MacauCorp.com today. www.macaucorp.com. Macau creates training that works. It's that simple. Hi, I'm Richard Roundtree. I'm a breast cancer survivor. Yes, you heard me right. Men get breast cancer too, and men need just as much help understanding what their doctors tell them as women do. But where do you go to get that kind of help? Go to breastcancer.org, a special place on the internet that helps you understand the kind of cancer you have, your treatment options, 
and all the big words your doctor uses. Breastcancer.org is the first place to go the minute you find out you have breast cancer. Welcome back to Awake, Living with Purpose and Passion. We're going to jump right back into Akiana Kramaric, who is on the phone with us this morning. Akiana, are you there? Mm-hmm, I'm still here. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I want you to continue. I want now. I'm. I want you to share what inspires you. I know why. I I, I get an, an an idea of why you're out to save the world, and for a 12 year old to have that goal and that vision, I think we'll all be saved. Because you, Yay. you're you are uh, you're an inspiration, and I want to find out what what inspires you. What this this beautiful message, this 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 strong desire to change the world, Akiana. Well, you know, God to me inspires me, and people inspire me. You know, everything that I see inspires me, and like everything that God has created, gives me the glimpse of love to help other children around the world so my biggest inspiration is God and and people that I meet so God and people yes and your images I mean we know I'm looking at Prince of Peace and some of your images are very much in that in that God form what where do you get your images from Akiana well, mostly I get my image from my imagination or memory, but if it is a face or a face or a figure, then I pray to God and ask for a model, and then I'll have a model and and I take glimpse of it and I take it um, just for the form, and then I put my own imagination into it. So I just put it all together. So you, you're getting a, a vision with some images, mm-hmm. and through your expression, you're creating what appears on the canvas. Exactly. Exactly. Tell me, how long, how long do you work on a, on a canvas? How long does it take you to finish a drawing or a painting, excuse me? Oh my goodness, well, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it takes me 15 hours, sometimes it takes me 350 hours, so... It just wow. depends on the image and the canvas. <laughs> How now, long did it take you for the horses? Uh, that took me probably 200 hours, yeah. around there, 150. <laughs> so you you get up in the morning at 4 a.m. Do you paint more in the morning? Or is that more of an inspired time for you than any other time during the day? Oh, yes, because it's quiet and it's, you know, I wake up before my three, you know, my four brothers get out and kind of... When I get up, the whole, it's like a circus upstairs. <laughs> so we, I just kind of want to have like a quiet time and um, the inspiration comes easier and I just love it and I'll have the music in the background, so just perfect timing, so <laughs> that's probably why. <laughs> so what kind of music do you like listening to when you are creating the beauty that you're creating? You know, whatever mood that I am and I could listen to like jazz or know you know you know symphonies of Beethoven and many you know Mozart and sometimes I listen to like you know upbeat music just what I'm really into in the mood so mm-hmm. does it does it vary based on what it is that you're trying to express in your art yes. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's cool that's that's amazing Akiana you uh you really are amazing and I would invite you if you're open to it I would love for you to share some of your poetry. 